James, many, many congratulations. Fantastic team performance and what a result. Yeah, um, first half I think was a bit of a, a nervy affair. I don't think anybody wanted to make a mistake and obviously their keeper made a, a, lot, a lot of good saves first half and I just we got in at half time, regrouped and just just told ourselves to believe in what we can achieve as a group and what we've done these last sort of like six, seven, eight weeks and I think you've seen by the second half performance we um, sort of blew them away really. We well, were saying it could easily have been 4 2 to Harriet at half time and they obviously scored one, they had a good chance just from past the pace. There was the penalty, Zach Brown could have put you in front inside two minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, listen, we um, credit to their keeper, I think he had a, he had a great game um, and still can see the four goals. We, um, we've been looking to start games fast, we have done the last eight and nine, I think again we did today. Um, Hemo misses the penalty, but he was outstanding after. And then obviously went and got us, got us in front. But yeah, we, we missed a lot of chances today. But like I said, credit their keeper. I think he had a good game. And um, we didn't, I think previously, we'd sort of rue those chances and sort of feel sorry for ourselves. But we didn't. We went second half, creating a load more chances and scored three more goals. Well, you were much more clinical in the second half. Any chance of game, basically you buried in the second half. Yeah, and that's what you've got to be in these, in these playoff games. You know, um, it's only 90 minutes and, and it passes by real quickly. So we've got to um, take our chances and... You probably think, and fans are probably thinking, when well, we miss a peno and we go one and up and we get back one all, and the keeper's making saves that it wasn't going to be our day. But I think that second half performance shows that we're um, we're a real team at the minute, and we're uh, we're a match for anybody. We were saying commentary. We thought you and Joe Leesley and others, if you're got a real grip in the midfield in the first half, and uh, you know, some of their midfielders barely had a kick. Listen, they're a very good side, and the, the midfield's probably the strongest area. But um, as of late, probably the last eight, twelve weeks, we'd. Um, We'd fancy ourselves against any midfield, and um, that's a belief we have as a group. Um, and yeah, listen, we're in a good place with confidence, momentum wise, etc. So that obviously plays into it. But listen, we, we've got players who have been here before um, that probably helped the group and got a lead by example, and I think that's what we did. If you knew the answer to this question, you could probably bottle it and sell it for a million quid, but what's made the difference over the last six, seven weeks? You know? uh, I think having a full side to pick from, to be honest. Um, I know we don't like to blame injuries, but we've had a lot this year, and um, I think. Me and Joe were speaking about uh, against Fylde, it was the first time me, Joe and Matt had played together. Um, and once you've got your starting, your starting 11 and, and a big squad to pick from and everybody's fit, you get cohesion like that, you get results like that and you get performance like that. And, and that's what's happened the last six, seven weeks. Like We know we underachieved this season in the league, but we had to put that right in the last six, seven, eight games, knowing that if we can go put a run together, we could make the playoffs and we've done that and look we're in the final. If you're going to go up, you're going to have to do it the hard way. Obviously, it's be away again at either Chester or Brackley. As we're speaking now, we don't know which side it is. No, half three kick-off. Listen, it's a hard way either way. Um, whether you play, look, Kingsland at home today, and, and we, we've come here and beat them. Alfreton at home, we're going to beat them. It's, it's a hard way either way. You know, they're a tough, tough competition to get through. And yeah, like I said, we go again next week. Whether it's Chester, whether it's Brackley, we'll prepare correctly. And so we're going there to try and get promoted. Final point, it's the end, obviously, of a very long, a very hard season. Is it a case of resting up now as much as anything else before the final? There'll be some training, obviously, but it's got to be in moderation. I think. Yeah, listen, we, we played Tuesday, Sunday, and now we've got a week rest, so it'll be it'll be some days off. But, listen, I, this group loves being together at the minute. Um, we stayed over last night, and the morale amongst the team and in the change room is fantastic at the minute. I can't, I can't tell you enough how, how much I enjoy playing and being with these boys. So, listen we're in every day I don't think we'd mind but yeah listen it's about rest recuperation and working on things once we know who we're playing in the final